Welcome to another episode of UCRD Reviews. So today we have another one from the 8th MS Team version anime line. This one is one I was really excited about. When, when they announced this line, I was hoping we would get some cool Xeon mobile suits that never got figures from back in the MSIA days, and this Zaku was one of them that I really wanted. This one's the MS06JC Zaku 2 Type JC version anime. So if you haven't heard of this one before, it's very, very, very similar to the J Type Zaku. Um, it was just customized a little more for combat in Southeast Asia and, you know, for a wet, humid environment. So, but other than that, it's pretty much a J Type. In fact, when the show first came out, this was simply called a J-Type Zaku. But because of the minor differences with it, um, not necessarily in appearance, but just in performance, they reclassified it as a JC-Type so that it didn't uh, contradict the J-Type. So, kind of, kind of makes you think about Thunderbolt, huh? They did all that just for some minor performance differences. But anyway, um, you know, this one never got a figure. We did get a shoulder shield, in the MSAA line. Uh, that was in the Dengeki Hobby Principality of Xeon weapon set that was an exclusive to their magazine. And uh, we got the, sho the spiked shoulder shield, but not the Zaku itself. So now we finally have the Zaku. And it's really cool. Um, you know, when they put out all the promotional pictures and stuff, I mean, I was really excited about it. It looked really well done has a lot of neat features. We saw it briefly in the review for the option part set. So now let's take a proper look at it. So the Zaku 2 JC type actually was shown in a couple different colors in the series. It was uh, this color in the beginning of the series. It was kind of a, a tan color with Commander Top's team where they were all battle damaged in the village. And then uh, later in the series, they were just a regular Zaku 2 colored. So we get the uh, original color for it that was shown in the series. And uh, it looks really nice. It's a really beefy looking Zaku figure. So the head will go down about that far. It'll come up about that far. And then it has this little like neck joint thing. You see that? That's going on there. And then it can do a full rotation all the way around. Top of the head is removable. You can move the mono eye about that far on either side. So pretty good range there. There is no commander head or anything like that, nor was that shown in the series. Uh, you do have, oops, ripped an arm off. You do have a bit of chest flex in the arms. This arm will come up about that far. The shoulder armor hits it. This one comes up a little bit farther before the shield hits it. Shoulder armor over here doesn't have a huge range of movement. Shield can go back and forth, and then it can come up about that far. There is a hard point for like an explosion effect or something. And there's a big, I don't know if you can see it in there, right up there there's a hard point, but I don't think it's actually usable. Um, there's a rotating joint up here that'll rotate all the way around. The uh, elbow joint is rotatable as well. You can kind of see where it rotates there. And then the arms will come up a good amount. Um, so good elbow articulation. And then you have double jointed wrists. So you have good hand articulation. You do want to be careful when they when they do this kind of joint here. It can snap, so just kind of watch it. Um, torso goes forward about that far. Doesn't come back a whole lot, decent amount. And then it goes side to side a little bit, but it is um, blocked somewhat by the cables. The backpack, you have weapon storage on either side. You have uh, ball jointed uh, thrusters that are effect part compatible. You have a hard point here and here for the, uh, this is the heat hawk. I don't know what this one's actually for, but you can put stuff there. And then you have weapon storage back there. The skirt armor will come up about that far, and this one comes up quite a bit. Uh, you do have ball-jointed legs there. They'll come out 
about that far and then they'll come up about like that before they're hitting the skirt armor. You have good knee articulation even with the cable and uh, for the feet they can go side to side a little bit not much and then you have a little bit of, there we go, toe articulation going on there. No uh, no effect part compatibility. The, the toe actually comes out a little. So, And then you have, you have thigh swivel, but it won't go all the way around just because of the armor. So pretty good articulation on this one. Really, really, really nice. So the other fun part of this Zaku is actually the uh, accessories that it comes with. It comes with a lot of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and check that out. All right, so let's get this out of the way. You get the uh, hand rack, two different sets of posing hands, gun hands, and heat hawk hands. Everything works well. The uh, hands pop in the ball joints really easily. You do get the uh, heat hawk. This is the stored version. And we'll compare it to the uh, other Zaku heat hawks. And then you have the deployed version. Looks very similar, but could very well be a new sculpt. And then we have the Zaku machine gun. This is kind of like the uh, late model. You'll see the magazine is offset from the body of the machine gun. This is not movable. It's painted up front here. It is not painted in the back. You do have a swiveling handle and it has kind of a knurling uh, effect on it. It is effect part compatible and the magazine is removable and I think that's what this is for. Yeah, so the magazine can be stored back there. So pretty cool and uh, the, there is a way to store the machine gun which we'll take a look at in a moment but first we can look at the late model Zaku Bazooka which is normally like this but as you can see you can rotate it either way. It does have a really cool removable magazine. You can see the little bazooka round in there. So really neat. It is effect part compatible from the front. Same thing with the other camera. This one's painted. This side is not. Uh, this does move quite a bit. And this front handle moves as well. Only this side. It won't go that way. And then that'll move. The grip will move as well. So really cool and let's get into storage here. Let me put this down. Okay, so the first piece here is going to be for the uh, bazooka to store on the back. So that's this little piece here. And the way to figure this out, this, this little notch that's cut out in it goes over this. And then this uh, more complicated part goes in the trigger guard. So what I usually do is just snap it in right like that and then it'll pop right into place and you can store the bazooka like that. My preferred method of storage however is this one and this one will actually allow you to store it on the uh, backpack. So it goes like this. So these cutouts again will meet these pieces here and it just slides into place and then from there it has a peg on either side and so you just peg it in to whatever side you want and it'll store on its back like that which I I prefer that a little more. So this last storage part is actually for the machine gun. So this one actually, you have the machine gun this way, and this goes over the trigger and snaps right into place. This is the method of storage, and you'll notice the magazine is removed. And there's actually a new plug for it right there. So it just kind of folds. It looks like it folds over, and then it'll store right like that which looks really cool this is the I think the first first Saku figure I have that you can store the gun the machine gun I think possibly um, but really cool so I like the way this one looks and then finally here we have two 
pretty generic effect parts. They're just thruster effects with the uh, uh, slanted pegs. So nothing, nothing too special there. And here I thought this segment was over. I totally forgot an accessory. There's actually this little panel which is a replacement part for the shield. So the uh, spiked part of the shield will come off and can be replaced to make a normal Zaku shield because not all the uh, Zaku 2 JC types had spiked shields. So it actually comes with that as well. So if you bought two of these, you can have two uh, slightly different Zaku figures. So I brought out a couple other Zakus to compare this one to. So this is the JC type. You have the uh, Zaku 2 Kai with the B type helmet, the real marking Zaku 2, and the Zaku 2 F2 green leg variation. So these three obviously look really, really similar, and then I brought him out just because he's really cool. So first up, we can compare the Zaku machine guns. So you can see how they look really similar, but then the front profile is completely different. So uh, magazine placement, ability to store it. These two Zakus are supposed to look really, really similar. You see how the JC type is just kind of beefier. The uh, bottoms of the legs are a bit different. The backpack is a bit bigger. There's just a little bit more detail, I think, throughout. You know, the chest is larger. The uh, shield looks pretty similar, so, you know, arms. So they do look very, very similar. Then you have the Zaku Tukai, which just looks radically different. It has an even larger backpack, has thrusters on the legs, just a, a more out there design. And same with the Zaku 2 F2. It looks closer with, you know, the, the build of it, how beefy it is, but it is very different looking. And then we can grab a, uh, let me grab a Heat Hawk over here and grab this Heat Hawk and we can check out the differences, which uh, they are identical. So they're the same thing. This is just colored different, which is interesting. I thought it might have looked a little bit different, but um, nope, that is the exact same Heat Hawk. So there you go. So the Zaku 2 J Type is a really, really nice figure. You know, it comes with all the accessories it needs, it even has the optional uh, shoulder shield part. You know, it, it looks great, it's colored great, you know, the, there wasn't many effect parts that came with it, but, you know, I'll let that slide just because the figure is so good. So this is another Zaku that's on this channel, I have a lot of Zakus I've reviewed, and uh, another one that's, you know, just fantastic. Mine did come with a loose leg, I forgot to mention it earlier, the, the uh, thigh joint is a little bit loose, but I think that's just mine. And uh, I, I pre-ordered this. This is a regular release. I pre-ordered it for $51 and change. So, you know, that's before shipping. But I think it's absolutely worth it. You know, if you can find this one, it's going to be another great Zaku for your collection. So thank you for watching the review. Let me know if you picked this one up, how many you got, and what you think of it. And uh, thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll see you all next time.